G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Mr GT, welcome to the channel. Well, it's been a while, a very, very long time since uh, we've done a video. Um, due to the COVID lockdowns, we're finally out. We've been out for about two weeks now, but the weather hasn't been in our favour. So I had planned on some car spotting on the two Saturdays that have passed. However, we had rain and storms and uh, Sydney Dragway hasn't started their racing yet so no drags uh, videos have been on the agenda at the moment we're just waiting I think they're gonna reopen next uh, next month in November sometime so hopefully we'll get everything happening anyway today we're out here we're going on a cruise with the Mercedes Club of New South Wales I'm a member of it since I own the Mercedes AMG E55 the 2005 model and uh, we've got a couple of AMGs here today. We've got, you know, some great models. We'll have a look at them later on in the video. I'm going for the cruise. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Tony's going to pull out the AMG C63. And we're going to get on with his cruise. Yeah. So we've got Tony's AMG C63 here. We've spoken about this car, we've driven in it. There's a video on that with a lot of information from the owner. He knows these cars like the back of his hand. So if you haven't seen that video, go and have a look at it. I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can go and have a look at that one. That's a very interesting video. Probably um, one with the most views uh, on my videos. Well, one of the top, top videos that we've uh, had on the channel. Just got some of the guys congregating. There's Tony there on the left. Ladies and gentlemen, check out this immaculate 420 SEL 1989 model. And here's the owner, James. James, James. you've kept this thing in immaculate condition. Yeah, I have. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, Looks just, like it just come out from the factory. Yeah, it was actually, that's how it looked. Except just the plate numbers, the tint windows I put on and um, yeah, a lot of uh, work's been done to it. Look, I do car detailing. All aspects, auto detail. Yep. Yeah, um, so tell us about your where where are you located and the name of your oh, business. We'll get the viewers to come out and oh, well, all check out your store. Auto detail is a mobile service business, so we go everywhere around Sydney. We do car detailing for clients, whether it's work, home, anywhere. We can do it. We do all the jobs. We do ceramic coating. Um, our business is backed by 20 years of experience. Uh, we focus a lot on Mercedes Benz and especially this example right here I have here, this old Mercedes. Uh, just the coating, the, the, I put a two stage wax on it and then a ceramic coating. You can just see for a car that's about 30 years old. Yeah, it does have a crazy shine to it. Yeah. Beautiful. Never been well, repainted. We'll get closer in a minute. Yeah. Well, yeah, look, it's just never been repainted this car. So what's so, the phone number of your place? Well if, if anyone wants to get in contact it's um, 0425 137 866 and we uh, G-Technic um, provide a two for ceramic coating and we are uh, also you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Google where uh, at all aspects auto detail um, you can check the reviews the photos of the previous Mercedes, the classic cars, modern cars, exotic cars we've done work on around Sydney. Uh, yes. Excellent mm. stuff. Yes, a mobile, that's very, very handy. And ladies and gentlemen, yep, I know about G Technic. They're a very, very good brand, one of the top brands out there. So, mate, he's using the good stuff. So if you, you know, want to get your cars done, especially your Mercs, you've heard the phone number on there and their um, Facebook pages, so get on to them. But let's have a Thanks. closer look at this immaculate Mercedes, mate. Look at this, look at the paint on it. Look at the shine, ladies and gents. This thing's immaculate. Beautiful. Genuine car, like nothing's been done to it. 
the back seats. Look at that, brand new. This is like brand new, look at that. Look at the seats, look at the seals. Look at the interior, it's like nobody's even sat in this thing. Original factory floor mats, still in good condition. Beautiful, even though, mate. I'll tell you what, they used to look after the passengers more than they do now. Look at those <laughs> those feet rests, beautiful foot rests. Yeah, the car's aged well, it's, it's still... Oh, these things factory. were built like a tank, mate. This oh, is yeah, probably one of that. the best models that Mercedes ever made. She's a beauty. So you've got the front driver's seat. With the, with the first airbag. Even, even the driver's side, like it's immaculate. There's just very, very little um, evidence that's, you know, the driver's even sat in here. But, you know, that's that's normal. But look at that. Look at that. Look at those door cards, mate. Beautiful. Completely original. All the stickers, labels, everything's still there. Uh, the, the AC for 30L car works beautifully. Just get a shot on the front. Yeah, this is one of my favourite models. Oh, I love this thing. Look at that. That looks crazy. Yeah, you can check out the, the wipers models. even. Even the wipers on the... That's a standard for this model car, but... Yeah, historic plate, so... Historic plate, all aspects, all the detail. You can find oh, yes. on the car. So yeah, that's a detailing, ladies and gents. All aspects of auto detail, you can look them up. Immaculate, beautiful. These are the original wheels and the... Original wheels, Germany, made in Germany. Perfect. I'll just quickly open the box. Oh yeah, we'll get a look at the engine bay. Some specs. Thank you. So that's his details right there. Oh yes, lovely, nice V8 block. Aspirated 4.2. My Mercedes were on top of the game from back in those days. So 4.2 liter, yep. 4.2 liter, aspirated. Uh, it's the four speed. It's um, everything's kept genuine. Uh, trying to keep it to look concourse showroom. Yeah. Even the hood lining has been installed. Well, that's the way to keep them because these things will be worth a mint, especially the more original you leave them. Yeah. The yeah. More exactly. Exactly. This, this the more they're stay worth that and way. I'm not going to change exactly. anything on it. Yeah. That's no cool. need to. That's how you see it when you buy it in the showroom. The excellent. Well, thanks very much, James, for talking to us. Thank you. And very um, much. we'll see you during the cruise as we're driving along. I oh, appreciate it. <laughs> no thanks worries. For the video. I appreciate Cheers. It. Thanks for your time. No problem, and brother. Give me a call, guys, if you want. Yep. Anytime. I Any showed questions. the card, so they've had a look. I'll probably put a link in the description as well. I'll write down what's on the card so they can find you. Fantastic. Cheers. Brother. Thanks. Here's a beautiful C63, ladies and gents, in two door formation. This will be going on the um, club run as well. And check out this beast. The G263. I would say that this is obsidian black. I could be wrong, but I think it is obsidian black looking at that. I know from my colour. And hopefully this will be a future car on our channel. I might get one of these when I move over to you if I move over to Europe again. This is one of the cars which is on my list for the future. This will maybe a E63. Have a, but this will probably be the colour that I want again because I love them in black.
What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill of viewers. <laughs> See what I paid to show you, to bring you this content, ladies and gents. How much was it? Six hundred an hour. That's it. Yeah. But he's lying. But Five hundred SE all Delilah. This is the president's car, the president of the club, in a beautiful red colour. Good morning, everyone. All those fantastic wheels. Good morning. Check it out. What a nice sports uh, car this is, eh? Uh, has everyone got their green kit? Sorry to put this through this. So we've got it from an insurance point of view, got to go through that process. So... Oh, Thank you. Thank you. So this is the owners of the Mercedes cars that are here today. Let's walk around them. We have this beautiful AMG GT. It's actually a GTC, this one. Immaculate blue colour. And one thing I love on these is those gold calibers. Fantastic. And the interior, the black and the brown, very, very nice. Station wagon Mercedes C300. A lot of people love these. These are very popular in Europe. Oh yes, this sports car is a beauty. Always love these. I would have bought one of these in the AMG. One of the best looking cars Mercedes have made. Always loved that model. And there's Tony's car, the one we're going to be driving in. 380 SL. A nice red. This is a nice sports car as well. One of the iconic Mercedes cars, sports cars that you'll see. Beautiful. So immaculate these cars, these club members have kept their cars in fantastic nick. They've got to be congratulated. Look at this E-Class. Now let's have a look, I would assume, is it an E350? Let's have a look at the badgings on it. No, it's actually an E280. Uh, this thing's immaculate. As you know, I've got the E55 in black. Uh, this thing here is on another level. Look at that, look at the interior, look at the seats. This thing's immaculate. Beautiful, looks pretty mean in what? We've got another C63 here. It's a couple of AMGs today on the cruise. I actually drove Tony's one today on the way here so that I can get a feel of these C63s. I've never driven one so that I can compare to my one, but I'll talk about that in another video. Beautiful. Another V8 Mercedes here, the CLS 500, with its twin pipe exhaust on the back. CLS, these are always a very nice and rare car to see very nice shape these things blend in with today's uh, shape of cars 
very nice. Nice colour. I like the colour. All right, so we're just about to leave this car park. We're with Tony. Hello, Tony. Hey, hey. It's always a pleasure having you on the channel, Tony. Yeah, you too, man. There's a nice 587. I love them. Beautiful. No yep, play. one of the AMG brothers in two-door formation. 507 is the plate. So have we found out where we're going? Because it's supposed to be mystery drive, or we're just going to follow the leader? No, 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 the Sublime Cafe at Bulleye. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that'll have a nice view over there. Oh, yeah. Whoops. The growl of the V8. sound is just incredible. You've got to hand it to the VH so you make the best sound. Look, I know, you know, you've got the V12 sound and the V10 sound, but to my ears, there's nothing like the V8 sound. And the thing is, the V8 sound, it doesn't hurt your ears. It's it's a nice sound that is very addictive and a sound that you want to hear. It's a sound where you'll turn down the stereo to listen to the actual sound of the V8 engine or the V8 exhaust. Four cylinder done up cars, six cylinder done up cars, the V10, V12, I wouldn't shut the stereo to listen to that. But the V8, I would. Okay, I like the V10 and the V12 lock in full song, you know, you've got that. But I like the high-pitched sound like uh, the Formula One cars, you know, that that sound. Okay, that is a different story. But I still prefer the V8 sound of it. What's your opinion on that? What I love the like? V8 and I love the uh, the V10 uh, Lamborghinis and the ADR8s as well. I love that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. It, only because, for me, I like it because it reminds me of the Formula One. Yes. If if I, I think if I hadn't heard the Formula One cars, that maybe I wouldn't have liked that as much because it's more of a scream. Yeah. Whereas the V8 sound, it's got that bass to it as well. It's more... Oh, yeah, much more. It's, it's especially these cross-plank engines, man. Oh, <laughs> the torque down low. Oh, it's just, yeah, phenomenal. Spot a Ferrari orange. There he goes. That's immaculate I think. James's car. C63s, the four door and the two door up there. Beautiful. Did you end up finding out what engines in this one in front of us? Be the same as this 6.2, where the newer ones there are v, they can, I think they can even be a V12 twin turbo, mm. the AMG version. Yeah, I don't think the ones are the AMG though, in front of uh, us. That's oh. just a normal two pipe, not quite quite. Could even just be a five litre V8.
Twisties here. Ladies and gents, as we're in the um, C63 here, the familiar, familiar dash console. Tony's expertise driving. So I've got to drive this today on the way to the meeting point and um, I have to say I truly enjoy driving this car. The difference between the E55 and the um, C63 in driving was that this is um, kind of more direct. The steering is more direct so it's more precise like when you're turning you turn the steering wheel less. In the straight ahead position they're very very similar but turning you just turn the steering wheel less to turn than you turn mine in the E55. The accelerator also for lighter which does match the steering and also the brake although the brakes are very good on the E55 as well I found that the um, pedal on this car is more sensitive than on the E55 and also um, this car the acceleration the accelerator is also more sensitive so you don't need to press it as much to get to a, to a certain speed as you do in the E55 and the handling is a lot stiffer in this car as well so obviously you handle a lot better take the corners better but still comfortable at the same time and the sound cruising they're very similar they're just as quiet as each other and this has got a lot more raspy note to it when you put the foot down a little bit uh, basically the differences that I saw so just want to thank Tony once again for letting me drive the C63 first time I've driven the C63 so I've always wanted to do that to compare it to the E55 and I was <laughs> Give me more of that any day. Very enjoyable. Yes, yeah, so and that nice pull in the back. That nice talky feel, just lovely. today. Might be out on a club run.
don't think he wants to go in the water. Ooh, did it scrape? No, no, it's just slippery. So we've reached our destination, Subline Point. All the cars parked next to each other. Three AMG beasts together. Actually, four, five. Five AMGs together. So this is with the Mercedes Club of New South Wales borders today, ladies and gents. Just give you a little bit of a view of what we're seeing here. Coastline. And a very nice assortment of clouds. And that's uh, towards Wollongong down there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. Uh, you've seen what we've done today, except for the food part. So we're on our way back, Tony, in the AMG C63. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, thank you for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Again quite often now since the lockdown is over so cheerio to everybody and we'll see you all in the next one bye for now yeah see you tony <laughs> yeah, boys.